2020 was a year like no other in living memory. Our societies were knocked off balance by an unprecedented pandemic, which continues to rage and will have a lasting impact for years to come. Throughout the year, under the leadership of my predecessor, Attila, the NATO Parliamentary Assembly has played its part in highlighting how our collective nations would better support each other in this crisis and what lessons we must learn going forward in the future. This report is an account of that work. At times, COVID-19 threatened to obscure or draw away attention from longstanding challenges to the transatlantic alliance. But the threats to our collective security have not subsided, and in some cases, they've actually become more pronounced. Democracy is under attack as the march of autocracy has hastened its step. The rise of China risks a shifting international balance of power. Russian aggression and subversive activities target NATO allies and partners. The threat of terrorism continues. And climate change, of course, imperils the future of our very planet. NATO is adapting to this new reality. In 2020, the Alliance launched an important reflection process to define its priorities for 2030. And beginning this year, allied heads of state and government will chart the way forward. Our assembly will be an engaged and active contributor and partner to this process. First and foremost, we must strengthen the democratic values which undergird NATO, a priority our assembly as an interparliamentary body is uniquely able to champion. Early this year, we were reminded that democracy is fragile. We must constantly work to protect our democratic institutions and counter all those attempts to undermine them. And at this critical moment for NATO, we must build upon a new momentum in my country for revitalized transatlantic cooperation. Our assembly has played its part in maintaining history's preeminent political and military alliance, which has been a source of security and stability for more than seven decades. It's our hope that this report helps communicate all the ways in which this alliance is indispensable and the critical work of our assembly is doing to ensure it endures long into our future.